trying to utilize and it's either deficient because you need water for en every enzymatic reaction. You need water for every enzymatic reaction. You need enzymes for every reaction in your cells. So how many people are hydrated enough? Not many. 90% of the body's water absorption takes place in the colon. So if you have constipation, it means you're not taking in enough water. Number one, arthritis, fibromyalgia, that's the inflammatory response. Cancer, multiple sclerosis, osteoporosis, that's the degenerative response. All of not having healthy blood. All of not health and healthy blood. Can you change that around? Yeah. yeah, truck driver Dave did it. I like that guy. Okay, now the enzymes in raw food. This is what's actually in here. Protease, lipase, amylase, and that's for, di um, it's, it's already in this food. Your body produces it, but if you're able, if you're able to get it from your food, you're not drawing from your body's stores, that means your body's able to utilize that in cell processes. That's why they say cancers are higher in meat eaters. Why? Because you need that prote protease to break down the meat proteins, and it's not available to break down the tumors inside your system. Now here, um, what happens when you switch to a lifestyle like this, and now, now it tasted good, right? That was kind of like a little teaser. If I was smart, I would have followed up with a friggin' chocolate avocado pudding. I, I mean, I mean, I, I missed that one. Next time I do this talk, I'm gonna have a big bucket of chocolate avocado pudding because if you're a chocoholic like me, you're gonna love that. But know that all you gotta do to be a raw food specialist or a raw foodist, you gotta have at least 75 to 100% of your diet raw food. If you change two meals to raw, you're 66% raw. You change two meals, breakfast, lunch, and then half of your dinner, by gosh, you're there. Okay? So it's not that hard. It's scary, but it's not that hard. Okay, fewer illnesses, reverse disease. And this is how you preserve the enzymes. Now, no microwave cooking. Obviously, that, I mean, because not just in plastic or glass, but the microwave process breaks down the enzymes and makes the food not just toxic and useless, it's, it's, it's a bad way to do it. Heat food to no more than 115 to 118 degrees, which the older you get, the less um, uh, sensitive your senses are. So you prefer hot food. Why? Because when you heat food up, it, 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 you know, when, a, when a molecule gets moving faster, it gets hotter. So like you've seen water, when it's not boiling, it's kind of sta stable. When you start boiling water, it molecules move faster and faster and faster. Well, if you heat food up, it excites those molecules and they exude off of the food. So it smells better, it tastes better. Hot food tastes better. So what you do with, with raw food, add a little bit more spice. Right on, jalapenos. I would, but I had to think of others. I know, I'm sorry, I'll mix them just for you and me. Okay. So you got, and that's, what, that's why we want it heated. So if you're gonna start going to raw and you want it just a little bit hot, add a little bit more spice. Okay, and it'll still taste really good. Uh, low and slow, and a good way, because nobody's gonna carry a thermometer and say, oh, it's 115 degrees. If you can touch it, it's, it's in the ballpark. Okay, if you can't touch it, it's hot. Raw dairy. Some people even go with raw meats. Okay, this one, if you're, if you're um, like, like, if you know anything about raw food, Dave, he was doing three pounds of meat a day. In order to break that addiction, uh, he had to um, do almond butter and a couple of other things, okay? But, but it is an addiction. So if you're going to raw and vegetarian, this is a good first step. Um, soak grains. And this, when you soak grains, it makes them soapy and juicy and delicious, oh my gosh. And then juicing, this is vital. We do a whole talk on juicing. Um, but again, when you look at this, now I've done this, this is um, antibiotics increase non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Everybody knows that, I've used this slide before. But the big thing is, start looking at these slides in a different aspect. So when you put, here, can you come over here? No, keep bringing the food, bring the food, come here, come here. When you put, right now she's putting enzyme-rich food in her body. I know what this is gonna do. If she put an antibiotic in her body, that goes into the bloodstream. Okay, now, now an antibiotic could save her life if she has a specific infection. But if she has a common cold and you give an antibiotic the way they're mostly prescribed, that's not only foolish, it's detrimental to her health. So anything you put in this body is gonna make the blood healthier or sicker. Thank you, you did a good job, good. <laughs> okay, aspirin. 
Some people are using an aspirin a day for a healthy heart. That's absolutely foolish. Pancreatic cancer, why? Because it changes the toxicity of the blood. Why would it cause a pancreas to be, have a problem? This, the most important nutrients around. If I, if I had a chance to juice, I would give it to you. But green, loaded with lycoprene. Okay, this is, this is absolute and broccoli number one cancer fighter around. You can juice it, juice the stems, lightly saute it, drink it, eat it, bathe in it. Gosh, it's fantastic stuff. This, lycoprene. They actually synthesize this. They're trying to, in, in the study that I've seen where they actually injected lycoprene, it's synthesized from a tomato into a rat, and they found that it shrunk cancerous tumors. Then somebody came up with injecting a whole tomato in the tumor. Guess which one worked better? The tomato, yeah, except you can't patent a tomato. You can patent the enzyme that you take out of the tomato. So the researcher had to do a backpedal and said, there's dozens of bioactive enzymes inside of a tomato. We're at the infancy of our research. It'll take a minimum of 10 years to find out how they work. Enzymes, is that what we're talking about tonight? Will, can't, will tomatoes fight cancer? Yeah. yeah, you just gotta get them in your system. Okay, and in your system, clear. Blueberries, guaranteed to lower cholesterol. Side effect is health. Uh, this, this is a crime that we need to stop. In, in your lifetime, you're going to see no more poisonous food. Okay, guaranteed. You might be about 90, but you're going to see it. <laughs> because these are food products, and that, that's absolutely not right. Now this, um, I was wrong. I just talked to her son. Okay, she's, she's only been with us 45 days. 77-year-old gal, her name's Carol. After the first week, and you can imagine, that, that, that looks pretty bad, okay? She's had a lot of problems for a long time. After the first week of getting her nervous system clear, because we're talking about clean arteries, the first week after getting her nervous system clear, she stopped all her blood pressure medications. And now it's about 45 days into it, she's still normal blood pressure, normal everything. Why? If you clear the arteries, you, have, you clear the subluxations, your body works better. Does that make sense? Yes or yes? This is what you actually require to be healthy. Proper nerve supply. That's what sh this gal was missing and that's what she got. Full regular exercise. That's every day. Proper nutrition. Proper nutrition. That means if it lives, eat it. The difference between live food and dead food. If you're still addicted to dead food, beautiful. Have a dead cow for half of one meal. And you'll get out of that habit. You really will. You will, it, it'll change. And if you are gonna eat meat, make sure it's free, organic, hormone-free, range-free, you know, and it's, it's, it's absolutely doable. Sufficient rest. This means if you're sleeping with the TV on at nighttime, you're gonna end up with a chronic disease. This means going to bed at 10, being asleep from 11 to one so your body can absorb the appropriate nutrients, so your body can repair. Without sufficient rest, you can't. And then prayer and meditation, absolutely essential essential for a proper mental attitude and a proper relationship with the, the person that created you. If you're into to Darwinism, billion years of evolution show that this is important. The, the swamp rat that, that grew legs prayed and meditated to his creator. <laughs> okay, next week, <laughs> next week, well, one of our patients is gonna be doing a vegetarian cooking class, vegan cooking class, sorry. Okay, don't want to upset you. A vegan cooking class. So to extend on this, you're going to learn how to, how to get more healthy enzymes into your system. Okay, does that make sense?